What's up everybody? Welcome back to Wisdom Island, the place where we are digging for treasure in the book of Proverbs. And today we come to the flamingos. And I don't know about you, but I've never really cared too much for flamingos before until I had a daughter. And now I think flamingos are pretty cool. I mean, they're pink and well, that's about it. I mean, it seems like that's the only reason why we like them at my house is it's like, Dad, look, a flamingo, isn't it beautiful? It's pink. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? Flamingos are pretty cool. And so we love them at my house. And as I was getting to the flamingos here on our treasure map, I started thinking, what about a flamingo is special? I mean, how can we make a connection with the kids when they're here and we're teaching them from the Proverbs? How can we make a connection with a flamingo? And somebody told me just last week that a flamingo, like the reason why you don't really see them flying very much, I don't know if you've ever thought that before, like why would I go to the zoo they're always just chilling there on one leg. Like even in our picture, that's the way people think of flamingos. They think of them as birds that stand on one leg. Like why aren't they flying around? And somebody told me it's because they don't want to exert a lot of energy. Like the reason why they don't fly is because it's too hard. Like it takes too much energy from a flamingo to fly around. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what they told me. And if that is true, I mean, we got to be ready to say today that flamingos are pretty lazy. I mean, you go to the zoo, they're standing there, they don't want to fly around because it takes too much effort. Like, a flamingo needs to have a talking to. Like, somebody needs to go to the flamingo and rebuke them. And who better than the ant? That's right, everybody. An ant. That's what the Proverbs talks about. Will you turn to Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6? This is the proverb that we taught your kids. We're contrasting the wise man and the foolish man, or today the flamingo and the ant, because in the scripture, it uses an ant to refer to a wise man. It says in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6, go to the ant, O sluggard. Hey, if you're lazy, if you're a sluggard, you need to go take a lesson from the ant. Consider her ways and be wise. So a sluggard is supposed to go to an ant and consider the ways of an ant. And we, we get that right away. I mean, think about it. An ant, they are hard workers. I mean, if we just know a little bit about ants, we know that ants work hard. And the Bible is using an ant to rebuke the sluggard. Hey, stop wasting your life. Stop being lazy. Lift up your eyes and look at the ant, or maybe look down, right? Because you're big and tall, and we got to look down to these little tiny ants, and we're supposed to consider their ways. We need to be wise like an ant. And you, this really gets the idea of working hard. I mean, God, when he created work, he created work before the fall. You realize that? Like when God made Adam, he made him to work. And because of sin, now work is hard. And maybe we don't like to work because of sin, but God made work as a good thing. And when we're teaching the kids, and when I'm even thinking about my own kids, I don't want them to grow up to be sluggards. I don't want them to grow up to be lazy. Like I want my kids to learn early that work is a good thing. It's from God. In fact, God gives us good gifts and I need to be a good steward of my gifts. I need to take care of the things that God gave me. See, I have young kids and that's a lot of my conversation with them is we might want to break our stuff or we might want to just kind of drop things on the floor. Maybe I give them a stick of string cheese and they just want to leave their trash on the house. You see, I'm constantly trying to have this conversation about working hard. Hey, let's put that back where it goes. Let's take care of the house God gave us. And you see, I talk about work and my wife does such a great job talking about work with my kids in a positive way. See, work is something that God has given to all of us. Work is something that we're supposed to do, whether it's in our jobs or even in our own homes. We need to work hard, and I need to model that, number one, for my kids. Am I talking about work as a negative thing, or is work something that I'm saying, this is something I get to do? 
See, right there, that's going to contrast even for my kids as they're growing up. I need to talk about work as it's a good thing. God has given me something that I need to work hard at to make it good. And this is something that I can partake in. God has given us good things that we need to take care of. He's given us a home that we can take care of. I mean, how are we being as stewards of God's goodness to us? And so one thing is the way that I talk about it, the way that I model it, but also... I mean, I know that as parents, I mean, uh, in parenting, like it, it can definitely be hard cleaning up after our kids day after day. And even like to get my kids to clean up after themselves. I mean, that in itself takes work, right? I mean, it would be much faster for us as adults to make dinner. But if I'm going to have my kids partake in that and maybe work hard at that, like maybe that's just a practical way to teach them hard work is they're going to help me make dinner. They're going to clean up afterwards. It would be much easier for me to just do it myself, for me and my wife to just take care of it ourselves. But you know what? I want to really help my kids grow in the way that they are learning how to work and to work hard and to not be lazy. And so although it might take more work for us to teach our kids how to work, it's a good thing. And I know plenty of people that are grown up now. I mean, we're talking about even high schoolers, college people, adults that can't hold a job they're late everywhere they go. They're not faithful to do or be somewhere when they say they are. I mean, we need to teach our kids at young ages that working hard is a good thing. And so that's what we talked about with the kids when they were here at church this weekend. How can we work hard? What are the things right now in our house that we should work hard at? Maybe it's our homework. Maybe it's cleaning up our room or taking care of the things that God has given us. Like, what are the things that we need to work hard at as a family? You see, if I'm just doing everything for them, I'm not really setting them up to be like the ant. No, I'm setting them up to be like a flamingo or to be a sluggard. Yeah, I don't want to set my kids up to be a lazy sluggard. I want to set them up to be like a hardworking ant to be faithful in what they're doing. And so we talked about this with your kids and hopefully you guys can continue that conversation right there at your own home. Maybe think of some practical ways that we can work hard at home and we will see you guys next time. I can't wait to find some more treasure as we approach the waterfall. What's that all about? Come back next week and let's find out together.